so for user input i will create a new program so user input dot py and then i will create here the user input so what we have to do for the user input so let me first take the input like first will i will write here for the user that enter a number so user will enter a number so what we can take input like i will take a input of integer so i will write a variable name input inp int equal to here i will take the input for, for taking the input we will use input function so you can see it here this is an input function that we will use to take the input and then uh, enter another number let us add the things so i will write here enter another number so let me write it here input num1 yes because we are taking number one so i will write here number one num1 and next input for next input i will write here num2 num2 equal to input so it will take the input again and in the end we will add these things num1 plus num2 so we will add these things and after that in the end we will print the sum of the things so let us print the sum here so like this we will print the sum here so let's see it is working or not so let me run this program so it is showing enter number. so we will enter a 50 and now we will press enter and now it is saying enter another number so we will enter here again 50 let us see so yes you can see it as sum is 5050 so now why it is showing us 5050 let us see this thing that why it is showing us 5050 it should must show us number that is 100 it is showing us 5050 it is thinking that we are taking the input that is a character or string so it is just concatenating or adding the string that is 5050 so what to specify here to make us understand that it is inputting a number that user is inputting a number so let's see that thing so by default it will take the input as a string so it will take input as a string so it is just printing us and showing the concatenation of string means combining the string and it will just print it like this like uh, print num1 and uh, print num2 so it will show us the numbers only but how it is showing it is showing us in the string format like 10 and 20 it will show us 10 and 20 here and it is just concatenating it it is not adding it properly it is just concatenating a string means combining a string so what we have to do it here to specify that the numbers that we are adding are string not string but they are integer variables so for that what we have to do it here we will write it int and then in bracket we will write this num1 so we have to specify like that that this num1 is a variable that is an integer variable and similarly here also we will write here int and in bracket we will specify that the variable that we are using is an integer variable that is num2 now let's run this program let's see it is taking it as an int or not so let's run this so i will add 10 and 20 so it will give me 30 yes or not yes it is giving me 30 so now it is correct mean to say that if we want the variables input like integer then we have to write here int now what if we want it in float then let us write it in float so i will specify a float let me see if it is accepting or not so i will write a float now let me run this program again so now we will enter a 20.5 and now we will enter a 15.6 so what will be the output yes it is giving the accurate output 36.1 so if we had specified a float so it is giving it a variables output that is float so now you come to know about that also that how to take the user input and by default the user input is in the string format let me write here string format so sorry for that i am using the thing that is double slash because i use c plus and java mostly so that's why i use comments so i am writing like this so i have to write this hash symbol so i will write here by default so by default the string format is taken as a input so must remember this thing okay so now we have come to know about the user input now let's see the next concept of that that is strings <laughs>